everybody, I'm Anton Rojas. I'm Denise Lazaro. And we are back here on Down, Down the, the line. line. So then, it's great to be back here on the couch. Ah, I back miss on this set. couch. Oh, I, I missed our shenanigans. Yes. And today we will be back at it because we are happy with all the tweets of the viewers of our first season of Down the Line. Oh, thank you so much for your support. At Siyempre, nakakataba ng puso niya. Na-enjoy niyo yung episodes namin. Ah, dahil sa mga tweets niyo, we are back here for one episode only. Oh, a very special episode. Exactly. Dahil bukas na nga ang highly anticipated Game 1 ng Best of 3 wow. UAP Season 79 Final Series sa Women's Division ng Ateneo at ng La Salle. Six consecutive years. Mm -hmm. De La Salle, Ateneo in the finals. It's a saga, Anton. Exactly. And for the past five years, nakita nga natin so many different personalities. And we're going to be joined by some of them here today on the show. Tama, magkaka-discussion tayo on what will happen dito sa Best of Three Final Series ng UAAP Season 79 Finals. All that and more when we come back right here on Down, Down the, the Line. line. Hi everybody, I'm Anton. I'm Dan. And we're back here on... Down the Line. And as promised, we will be joined by players who have been a part of this prestigious Ateneo and La Salle volleyball rivalry. Yeah. We got from De La Salle University, Wench Chu and <laughs> Melissa Gohing. And for Ateneo, we got Z Hervasho <laughs> and Mei Tajima. Are you ready? <laughs> so guys, kamusta? Let's start with May. Mm -hmm. May, what are you up to? We're preparing for the um, PBL. Yeah. What's your What's your team now? Um, I'm with Team Perlas. So please support your team, guys. <laughs> Perlas. Perlas. And Z, your teammates with May? Yes. So right now we're focusing on being professional athletes. Yeah. <laughs> and you girls will be going up against Melissa Gohing. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. So, uh, how, how does it feel having a great season last year and then you're back with Pokari as one of the main players? We don't want to feel pressure at all. I mean, it's a new story because we have different players coming in. Mm -hmm. We have three new players, um, Jesse De Leon, Phil Kainglet, and Janet Banaga. And then, of course, my best friend who went with you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So right. yeah, and we're, we're gonna we want to make a new story for this year. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to check out the matches in the PVL, the Premier Volleyball League on SN Day. And of course, we have Wench Tu right here. So come on, Sakana Wench. Hi, naman. BC preparing for beach volley PSL. Mm, beach volleyball. Yeah. The same okay. time coaching and the side. Ah, Alam mo Wench, uh, <laughs> sobrang bilib ako sa kayo kasi nga. You're not just playing volleyball. I, I'm surprised that you're actually playing beach volleyball aside mm -hmm. from indoor volleyball. And you're also studying to become a lawyer. You're in law school, tama ba? Yes. Wow. Yes. So, so how do you do that? Paano mo naman babalance yung time mo doing all of that, uh, being a student, studying uh, law, and then playing volleyball? Actually, mahirap talaga. Mm. May time management. But right now, kasi I'm on my break, so that's why I'm enjoying volleyball for now. But I guess, pagdating ng August, dun talaga yung bububan. So we'll see na lang when I get there. And um, I'm sure you guys are also very excited with the Ateneo Nasal finals that is happening tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> yes. And um, I'm assuming na Wench here and Melissa are confident that Lasal is going to defend the championship. Tama ba? Yes! Of course! O, ano naman ang sabot nyo? Confidentin naman kami na mababalik sa katipunan yung corona. Yes! So, why? Ano ba ang reason? We want to find out the reasons as to why you guys are confident na mananalo ang inyong mga teams in the upcoming finals. I'll start with you, Melissa. Why do you think La Salle has a good chance of winning the final series against Ateneo? Well, the break from the semifinals, they have time to prepare, mm -hmm. and as well as they they are the defending champions. So, th of course, they have the pride of being the defending champion. So, for sure, they won't just give the crown away mm -hmm. that fast. Meron ba kayong reference, Bonzi? <laughs> well, I guess basing on 
history in the previous <laughs> <laughs> history. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna be yeah, I'm just gonna give it to them na since they already did it in the twice in the elimination round, so like why not again in the finals round? By the way, I just wanna take note. Z is wearing her uniform. <laughs> Then sorry, uh, what, what do you call those colodies, ba? Colodes? Colodies. So ibang klase talaga ang fashion statement ni Z. It's Thanks. very diverse, but I also like Mel's um, outfit today. Um, kasi may saya ako mga Divorce. The ninja at work. So, <laughs> continuing on sa discussion natin, ikaw Ate Wench, what do you think will happen sa finals? What's your prediction? Well, knowing kasi Coach Ramil, meron pa yung ububuga sa finals. And alam mo naman, Team Lasal is known as Team Diesel. So, I think, kaya yan finals. May hindi pa natatalo ang Ateneo sa Lasal yeah. in the elimination round. It's it's actually, um, I almost dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's happened twice since Coach Tai came in. Yung uh, second year niya na na sweep ng Ateneo. Ayo ang uh, ang uh, Lasal and then this year na sweep na naman ng Ateneo at Lasal. So why do you think Ateneo has been successful against Coach Ramil de Jesus and Lasal? Well, I think um, we can base it on their preparation also. They've been really working hard and you know that they really like scout players or like the place and even um, during the game, they just their mindset is just to just play their game, enjoy, and even follow Coach Tai or like whatever place they need. Like their heart strong and happy, happy mentality will help them really in the finals. So we all know of the Lasalle swag. <laughs> Ate Wench here is one of the quietest yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. people yeah. I know. Sobrang tahimik lang ni Ate Wedge, pero pagdating sa court, silent operator yan. Maaasahan sa depensa, oh, yes. sa palo. Yes. One of the leaders of Lasal. Pero Ate Wedge, anong masasabi mo? Saan nyo nakukuha yung swag nyo pag naglalaro kayo? I think sa practice lang din yun. Kasi Coach Ramil wants us to. Medyo mayabang swag para mahawaan yung teammates namin. So sila, sila, para mahawaan nyo. <laughs> sila na yun. So speaking of swag, sino yung nakikita mong... Uh, Continuing the tradition of Lasallian uh, swag from yeah. the current batch of Lasall players. I think si Ch Cheng. Yes, Cheng. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi naman siya ganun dati, ah. but parang this year, she was all of a sudden out there and, and very animated. Baka lang din na push lang din ni Coach Ramil sa training. Ang so, si Coach Ramil yung nagtuturo na may ganyan swag? Kasi that time kasi there was a there moment din namin during our training Nagusto ni Coach Ramil magyabang okay. ako. Ah, Sige, magyabang ka po ulit-ulit nang pinapagalitan ako. Sige, magyabang ka, magyabang ka. As in sumigaw ka lang doon pag nakapunta. So I felt awkward lang din kasi hindi na ako ganun. Yeah. It helps eh. And you have to take on a different so, persona. So pinitrain din yun minsan ni Coach. Okay, but but for Athenians, I think it's very different. I think you guys have a, a different, <laughs> very different way way of swag. Like I remember Phil, she would just like Brush it off. May inaabuta mo si Coach tayo yung happy, happy, heart strong, unity mantra niya. Ano yung what works for the Ateneo team and they want two championships under Coach Tai? I think. Parang even the players, we don't even expect it, right? Like, it just happens and like, everything just works so well and like, everything just plays their hearts out and like, it's just heart strong and happy happy all throughout the games. Okay, let's talk about the current crop of Ateneo and Lasalle players. When kanino ka na impress sa mga Lasalle Lady Spikers ngayon? Ngayon? Kasi I only watched two of the games. Hmm. Siguro kay Cheng. Kay Cheng, mm -hmm. okay. Kasi nakikita ko lang yung improvement niya from last time mm -hmm. I 
watch her play. And okay. last year she didn't get to play last Hindi, season because recovering. of the knee injury. Ito naman. Kim. Kim. Okay. Yeah, without Kim, the game's going to be different. Grabe siya magdala. I love her leadership. Kim kasi super chill niya, yeah. pero sobrang playmaker. She she also if 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 hindi na effective yung mga set and and spike spikers niya, siya na lang. So maasan mo siya. And yeah, and Don. Si Don, 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 Miss Everywhere. Miss Everywhere. Don, Don, Miss Everywhere. Don, 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 because we also um, owe it up to her that the distribution is okay mm -hmm. and the sets are really nice. That's why the set, uh, the spikers can really effectively get a point. And as long as they have a good receive also, well, the liberos are go doing good. Well. Yeah. 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 Um, I think same then with what base it's Gia. Because, you know, well, we have to accept the fact that our team isn't the best in reception. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that, and then having Gia there, parang she makes all the balls better for the spikers. And with that, parang she makes her spikers look good. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, speaking of reception, there are mga times na opposing teams, they target you. Especially kayo mga liberos. Like, there was a time na tina target ka then, diba? And was there a time that you felt other teams were targeting you, Melissa? Most of the time, no. But no? sometimes, okay. there, there are bad days. Okay. So, if it's bad day, ako, okay, yung libero. <laughs> pag, okay. pag alam nila, parang start ba off your receive, so kami. So, what do you look at sa mga current liberos? Like, si Don. What, what makes her so effective? And then we saw Coach Tai try out Dina Wong in the last yes. in the last match. What's your comment on the current liberos right now and how they're able to perform? Well, technically, in general, I like it now na everybody knows yung importance ng isang libero. So before, yung focus lang, puro spikers, puro setter. So ngayon, sobrang may, may coach na ng, ng, ng mga liberos ngayon. So may sarili ng drill. So sobrang tumataas rin yung level ng mga games ng libero. Like, um, Kath, from, from UE, Kath Arado, and then Don. Sobra, and then, yung mga liberos ngayon, sobrang nagpa-play of the game na. So, Tapos grabe. nagsaset pa. Nagsaset pa. <laughs> Iba rin yung, umaangat na rin yung level. Hindi Looking rin, back, could you imagine yourselves setting set. as liberos? I have actually, guys, hindi ako marunong mag-set. <laughs> as in. I, I love to set. <laughs> sobrang <laughs> gusto ko. But let's say you guys played now. Would you oh, try set, to at least set. learn that skill? Of course. Yes, kasi yun yung high school. Hi, Jam! <laughs> <laughs> kapag kapag ano UT is yaron so subset so dream ko rin maging set eh. <laughs> wait since you mentioned gem kasi parang for me ah si si gem and si D Max si Rea di makalangan were one of the few setters na mahilig mag dump mag drop ball yes. de ba and I think they influenced si Kaf si si Gia now so what do you think about the setter matchup naman I, this is one of the hot topics yeah, in the God. finals. Oh, Gio Farado so against tight. the <laughs> captain, Kim Farado. Comments on that matchup. Well, yeah, it's it's really crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you just you, you you can see it from there. Nah, it's a tight matchup in setting and serving. Mm -hmm. So yeah. plus, sila pa yung playmaker, sila pa yung captains, and you can just say na. You know, UAAP right now, it's just crazy. Everyone's like out there to be better, to be ano, more aggressive on the court, to win the championship. And you can see that uh, like four teams uh, fighting for the third and fourth spots of semis. So, you know, it reflects lang how good the competition is now in the UAAP. Kayo, <laughs> Mel. Well, kasi nakita ko naman sa both sides, Magagaling talaga. Actually, hindi ko nakita yung stats. Pero base lang din. Ang hirap mamili ng kung sino pinamaling na setter. Pero siguro they can outdo each other na lang din sa other aspect other than setting. Siguro defense, kung sino mas magaling. Service. And siguro pag yung mga attacks din, minsan yung setters. For Ateneo naman, sa elimination round, two times sila natalo ang De La Salle. Pero yung maganda dito, 
may mga nag-step up for Ateneo nung first round. It was Michelle Morente and Catalatino. Pero nung second round, surprisingly, Joe Maraginot did not play. Pero, the player of the game, Jules Samonte, what can you say about her performance? And as a rookie, it was her first time uh, to play in a big game like that. Um, I, I've heard that Jules really trained well during the preseason. And um, I think she had her break during the Shakey's V-League. And right now, I think everyone in the bench, like you can just pull anyone in the bench and just let them play mm -hmm. and like f uh, field in the players and they're ready to play. I mean, every uh, during training, for sure, coaches, the uh, our coach, Coach Ty, of course, will will, will also play um, the first, uh, the second six with the first six to let them adjust and know how it, it works with the team. And even the second six can even be ready anytime to um, make a few adjustments and like um, just be ready. Yeah. Z, do you see any more surprises in the bag of Coach Tai in the finals? Because it seems that he always does something new, yeah. oh especially my. the past couple of <laughs> matches. So, ano pa yung yeah, um, possible surprises? I don't know. Maybe like switching up players in different positions. I mean, like kunari, we can probably see like. Like wildest or like crazy thought, lang like, say Cat Tolentino play utility, like to block the Lasas open. But then Kim Kiana di naman is is ano is uh, good support for it. You know, switching up players and I think it's ano it's luck then. Kung maganda bunot niya for sub if someone doesn't uh, perform at par, so. Something like that. Melissa, from the looks of it, parang mas maraming surprises as of now, ha? Si Coach Tai compared to Coach Romil. But do you think that will change in the finals? I think possible. Knowing um, Coach Romil is one of the best coaches in tactics, when it comes to tactics. One of the best. Uh, well, both naman eh. So it depends on talaga. Tama si Z. Na it depends on ta kung, kung tama yung boot ng players. Depende rin sa gising ng mga players. So it depends talaga. <laughs> So maybe luck or 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 para sa kanila talaga. Well, a lot of insights from our uh, volleyball legends here from Ateneo and La Salle. Thank you so much, huh? but we're not done yet. When we come back, <laughs> things will get a lot more interesting on down the line. We'll have a quick set.